Today's video is going to show you how you can embed your YouTube channel onto your WordPress website. This is great for YouTubers wanting to set up websites uh, for their official presence outside of YouTube. So the way it starts, we're going to add a plugin. We're logged into WordPress. We're going to go down to plugins and add new. And then I'm going to search for smash balloon YouTube. And the first one is actually an Instagram feed, but the second one, feeds for YouTube, is the one that we are after. So I'm going to go install now to install the plugin. And then we're going to activate it. And now we see it's right here, feeds for YouTube. But there's not really any settings here that we can play with. So we're going to go down here to YouTube feed. And I'm going to click YouTube feed here. Now, what we have to do is connect to YouTube to create our feed. So I click this button and it says it requires read-only access to YouTube account in order to retrieve data. So we're gonna click continue. Choose the correct profile. And it's asking for the ability to read my account. I'm gonna say continue. And it says I've successfully connected my account. So I click dismiss. So you can see here, it's got my channel image. Uh, I can add another feed. Uh, it's got other bits and pieces in here, like my channel ID. So I'm basically good to go when it comes. So I'm going to click save changes. And now I'm going to go to number two, which is customize. Now the width of the feed, 100% is the full width of whatever cont container it's in on your website. So if you've got it within your, just within a page, it will fill the full width of the page, but you can choose a custom width in pixels if you want to. The height, if you want to limit the height, I'm just gonna leave that the way it is so that way it all sits nicely. And I'm gonna save those changes even though I haven't changed anything. But there's a lot of options in here to play with. So our layout, we can choose to have a grid or a gallery. Uh, the carousel is a pro feature or a list, a large list of videos. Since we want to sort of show you the best of both worlds, I'm going to click with gallery so we can show you how it embeds a larger video and the smaller videos. And we might make the columns say four, but we can change the columns number to any amount. The mobile columns will stick with two. So when someone's on a phone, they're not looking at one video at a time. And to show initially nine videos, we'll change that to say, let's say 15. And we're gonna show or hide the player icon. Let's just leave that on for now. Spacing between videos, I'm gonna make that nine pixels. So it's a little bit more space between each video. And then I'm gonna save those changes. So now if I scroll down again, we have the header. Do you wanna show the header? Let's say yes, channel description, yes. Load more button, we're gonna say yes. So you can load more videos to see what else is there. And we do wanna add a subscribe button and we can change that subscribe color. Let's make it red like we were, like the actual YouTube color. Text color is white. Say subscribe now, just to give it a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a customization. Now the player ratio, nine to 16 is, that's like widescreen, like your computer. Four to three is kind of like an old CRT top TV, a bit narrower than the video you're watching at the moment. And when did the video play? We're gonna say automatically, or we can say play when clicked. Let's just hit play when clicked. Oh no, we'll say play automatically. And we're pretty happy with that. I'm gonna save those changes again. Scroll back down to where we were. And we've got a few other bits and pieces here. If you know a bit of CSS, or some JavaScript, you can add that in there. There are some pro options. So if you do wanna go with the pro version of this plugin, I'll pop a link in the description below. Otherwise, there's show videos containing these words or remove videos containing certain words and hide specific videos. So you can actually kind of take more control of what videos are displayed. Um, you can enable GDPR, uh, automatic. I think it's probably gonna be fine for most people. And preserve settings when the plugin is removed. I'm gonna say no, just because I don't wanna be holding too much information in my database. But if you decide you wanna remove this plugin and install it later and pick up where you left off, you would tick yes. So you can store there's a few other options here. I'm just gonna leave these as default. And we're gonna go up top here and move on to display. So now you can see we have a few options. We have a simple short code we can copy, but you can add in multiple feeds. So if you've got multiple uh, channels and that sort of thing, add in multiple feeds. Um, another channel, you've got all these other options here and all these pro options to play with, but for what we're trying to achieve here, which is just display our own channel, 
we're just going to copy this short code and then we're going to add a new page. It's going to hit the default editor. I'm going to call this page YouTube. And on the little plus section here, I'm going to add a short code or I can type in short code to bring that up. I then right click and paste our short code in there. And if I'm ready, I hit publish. But for the sake of the video, being just a tutorial, I'm just going to hit preview so we can get a look of how things are. So preview in new tab. And you see if we scroll down, it's got my YouTube header. If I click on this, it goes off to my channel. We have this video here that people can watch because I'm logged in. It's showing a few videos I hadn't published at the time. But you can see we've got a few other videos here and we can load more. And because I chose 15, when they've got four columns, it had an uneven number at the bottom. So we can change a few things to get this looking a bit better. So we've got this on our page here, we're happy, but let's switch back to our options. So if I go back over to customize here, maybe I've decided I only wanna have three columns and maybe I only wanna have my nine videos and I only wanna have a grid because maybe I just don't wanna have as many in my list. I just wanna have a bunch of videos people can check out. And also with the header, I can turn the header off in the channel description if I want to minimize the look of it a bit. I'm gonna save these changes and tab back across. I'm going to refresh. And now you can see, we've just got my public videos on there at the moment. If I wanna watch one, I can click on this video and it shows a little pop-up or a big pop-up. Hello guys, in today's video, I'm good. So we get this nice pop-up feature and we can load more videos and go from there. So that's a pretty nifty uh, feature to have on a website, especially if you're a YouTuber, because you don't necessarily wanna have people on YouTube the whole time. Sometimes you're gonna to wanna to investigate your website. And if they're not ready to take steps when they first land there, having a few videos they can watch might just convince them and then you can hit them with a call to action, perhaps at the bottom or on your sidebar to capitalize on their presence on your official site. But for now, that's how you can do that, how you can add that in there, check out those options, have a play and see what you think. Otherwise, uh, that's the video for today. If you wanna check out the pro version, check out the link below to see what else you could do. Otherwise, uh, if you like the video, please give it a like. Otherwise, uh, hope to see you again soon and have a great day.